Uh, chat. You know, I used to doodle a lot in my notebook. And, you know, maybe instead of learning. But I decided, let me go through my old notebooks and let me find some stuff. Now, of course, as some of you may know already, there's stuff like this I found as well, which is an MS Paint drawing of Cloud and Midgar that I made and then printed out from 1998. It's a long time ago. Uh, so I had stuff like that. I also had stuff like this map of RuneScape, also probably from like the year 2000, 2001, something like that. So I just found like a bunch of random stuff. Now, before we get to the drawings, I'll show you the additional stuff that I found, like this Majora's Mask strategy guide from Electronic Gaming Monthly that is in perfect condition. This Funko Land circular from probably 25 years ago. This Chocobo guide from March 7, 1998 from ff7.com on how to raise chocobos. So wild that I found this stuff, but also then, you know, stuff like this. I found my um, KB Toys Metroid, Metroid Prime. Ask me about Metroid Prime Lanyard. Um, Magus in Soul Calibur 3. <laughs> so it was, it was really crazy going through my old stuff and finding, you know, finding all this stuff. But then I was scouring the notebooks for drawings. And boy, did I find them. So um, this is in no particular order, but based on how the drawings look, there's a chance I'll know generally where or like when it happened. So um, some of you have seen this one already, but we'll start with this one. This was in a college notebook. Some of these I know when they were from, some I'm taking a guess. This was, I know for sure, was a college notebook. Ida Ho. Mario's got a, you know, dad bod. Good for him. The, the mushrooms got a weird face too. But as you can see, here are the, the four major food groups of video game character and someone in the background also shooting a large gun, I think. There also may be a firework in the top left. A lot of my stuff was very like abstract. I wouldn't specifically try to draw anything. It would just be like whatever random like like the side like in the sides of the notebook whatever random stuff like i just squiggles and then turn it into a thing so clearly i made some kind of tom nook-esque creature um i drew goblets a lot i noticed like that was a recurring theme like just a lot of goblets and just weird shapes that i would just shade in and waste ink i don't know it kind of looks like a toilet But then there was more stuff that was like, um, let's see. I found, I don't know how to draw faces, really. Like I'm, I'm not, as you can tell, I'm not really much of an artist. So I would draw always side profile, like always these weird scummy faces. And, um... Yeah. This one is four in a row. <laughs> I laughed when I saw this. Like, there's, they're like, yeah, they're Simpson esque. Um, I found me drawing a Mario level. I think from memory, I attempted to draw a Mario level. And I just kind of, um, I think this is college. But it's it's one one and one two, but it's very you'll notice there's details like missing. There's entire chunks of the level missing of both of them, but it's still like you know just a shortened version. I don't know. I used to make Mario levels in in my notebooks. I couldn't find the Mega Man levels that I used to draw. Those those might be gone, but uh, keep in mind I still haven't gone through like all of the notebooks because my parents saved so much stuff that I was shocked at how much of these materials existed. Um, speaking of making levels, I found my Half-Life level. From the top, I was sketching out a level 
in Worldcraft, uh, which was the original editor for uh, Half Life, and uh, this was Black Mesa, and uh, I was trying to like this was I guess when I was at school, just trying to figure out what I wanted the level to look like. For the record, I did 10% of the level. I never. It was so much work, and I had no idea what I was doing. I was completely self-taught, and uh, yeah. I don't think anyone's going to make this into a level. But if you want to, I also have the other side of this page somewhere. So <laughs> apparently there's another level. There's another side to it with the rest of the level. This is only some of it. Um, some of you may have seen this, which was like a jump scare for me, uh, seeing Family Guy in my college notebook. So the, the Half-Life level was sometime in like 1998 or 9. This was clearly 2003-ish, 2002. Uh, uh, no, probably l later, 2004, maybe five. Non-standard Family Guys, as you can see here. It jump scared me because I forgot how old the show was. I forgot that it's been on TV since like what, 99? Crazy. Vinny, is that Joe or Peter at the bottom? I don't know. I don't. I have no recollection of any of these drawings. Um, one of the notebooks, I found a Metroid Prime sticker, which I'm sad I wasted it on the notebook, but it still exists, scratched up as it may be. As you can tell, I was a bit of a Metroid fan. You'll see a lot of uh, Samuses or Sami, if you will. However, chat, I also, <laughs> on another notebook, uh, I found this sticker. I have a theory. I have a theory. I think this is from Beck's album, The Information, which had stickers that came with the CD and you could make your own album cover. We're going to find out right now. Beck album information stickers. That's exactly what it is. I fucking knew it. Yep, thanks, Beck. So fucking weird. And I chose that. Yeah, I guess I thought I was being funny. I'm pretty sure I made a version of that album cover, but, uh, you know, that was reserved for the notebook. Here is maybe the oldest drawing I have, as you can tell by my handwriting. And this is like kind of fucking crazy because I think... I think this is a turkey, and I'm pretty sure this was um, art, like art, like I didn't have art class, but it was part of another class. I'm going to go ahead and say that I was six when I did this. So that's what, 32 years ago? This might be the oldest one I have, where it's just me talk, like I'm writing about different types of colors and then drawing a turkey. Yeah. Warm, warm colors. So it's, again, it's hard to explain the, the, the feelings that this unlocked. Just being like, wow. That was, I have no memory of any of this. Um, here's another college notebook side doodle. Some Mario blocks and just some whatever abstract. Again, this is why I'm not an artist because I just don't know. I didn't really put a lot of effort into drawing a little bit. I mean, there was this wizard. I guess he's cool. He's the CBT wizard, early form. Also, I found a little gnome, and he's got a sneaky smile. I don't know who this guy is, but wizard and gnome. Um, here's a weird... <laughs> Here's a weird page. So first you have a bird in a cage. There's a Metroid. There's a balloon becoming a person. Um, some Mario stuff. John Stamos is in there for some reason. And spaghetti and meatballs. And then I was very careful to, you know, say spaghetti and meatballs. I just, I needed people to know if they were to ever see this. 
Chat, it's it's fucking wild to think. Oh, thank you, Ross. Ross saw a couple of these actually. He was laughing about them. Um, it's wild to think that if I if I went back in time, if you knew, you told yourself these drawings would be seen by like a couple thousand people. Mental. Dream of the childhood. Here's um Okay, so again, I had some stuff that was cut out and like plast like put uh, glued onto another thing. And here's early Homer. I think this is Homer 007. I'm pretty sure this is like James Bond Homer. And uh, I can tell you that this is probably from 7th or 8th grade. So very non-standard Simpsons. Um, I don't know why there's a very small person behind the bar giving Homer a drink, but that that's just what happened. Let's see. Uh, more abstract. I don't know. Like I said, I wasn't learning in class, and clearly I wasn't learning how to draw either, but I had fun. This one, oh God. Yeah, okay. This one goes back to probably, um, this is grade school. This is like sixth grade, fifth grade. And um, it's pretty bloody. It is a sword in an anvil at the bottom. A dude getting stabbed. You know, this is what happened. Family Guy warned us about this with the sex and violence on TV. Some form of Boba Fett with a rocket and a sword. Also, <laughs> a sword through his stomach. Thanks, Ross. It's nice to have you here, by the way. Um, just think, man, I could have been, I don't know, a doodler. Maybe. But I also, I doodled lots of weird abstract shapes. And then it's like you go from that to just violence. And I think that's supposed to be Link with a bloody sword or there's turds. I'm not sure. Um... I found this in uh, one of my college notebooks. Wednesday Dante. <sighs> and I, I knew ch uh, chat would like that quite a bit. So this little dude, I don't know who that is, but when I saw Dante, I was like, yeah, I got to take a picture of that. I'm pretty sure it was like Dante's Inferno or something, but it's a new character. It's just Wednesday Dante. Um... For anyone just joining, I'm particularly proud of this. This was my MS Paint Cloud from 1998 that I printed out. And I just wanted to show it again because it's uh, his his eyes are... I didn't know how to scale up the MS Paint thing. So he's got a bulge. He's got tiny little eyes. Yeah, it's weird. I, I'm pretty sure I used the clone tool on some of Midgar. So that was like skillful at the time, I guess. Um... Here's another, like I said, there's a lot of Samus. Uh, I, I didn't get the proportions right ever. But I think this is high school Samus. This is actually, I think this is high school Samus as well. And as you can see, Samus has like a 12 pack. Way too long. I, like I had no idea how to do this. Now I actually did take art in college and I have a giant portfolio of like still life I have like a self portrait I've got stuff like that and that still exists I don't have pictures of it don't have any of that sorry chat maybe one day if people like this I could dig up more art more doodles more notebooks I'm sure they, there's plenty um, here's a little pig and a fish I guess uh Here's some kind of either ramp or monolith, like 2001 Space Odyssey. That's also college, I think. Here's grammar school. I don't know who this dude is. I don't know, but he's got some kind of like grapple arm and, and a gun facing up. I don't know. It's like there's like an atom molecules like the early Jimmy Neutron <laughs> with a very scummy face but 
This one I showed yesterday during my Final Fantasy VII stream, but it's worth noting. Okay, so look, you'll notice similar problems to Samus with that cloud that I drew. The strange rat fellow, as I explained yesterday, here's my theory. My friends and I used to make fun of each other, one of my friends in particular. And I think that's what they drew of me to make fun of me. Because I was so into Final Fantasy VII. I think. You'll notice it says Cloud and there's Final Fantasy all over the goddamn place. So I didn't draw that one, but it is it is a wonderful, wonderful drawing. Is that Mike? No. Mike I didn't meet till college. This is like 7th grade or 8th grade. You need to make that top left character in a game's character creator. Someone's probably going to draw that character. Is that a cigarette or a toothpick? I'm going to say toothpick. However, I also found a piece of art of me. Um, I think the friend that drew that, I drew something to kind of make fun of him as well. I'm pretty sure. And it was... It was this. <laughs> Um, but keep in mind, this is a drawing of like a 13 year old, but he was starting to, um, he was starting to dress like this a little bit at the time. He did not smoke cigarettes. Either that, or this is just a random drawing. It's very possible. It's just some random drawing. Was he bald? No. I don't know. Did he wear shirts? Yes, he wore shirts. So I don't really understand that. Um, well, anyway, here's more random whatever doodles. I don't know what this thing is. I'm sure there's some kind of like Freudian thing you could extrapolate from it. But uh, We're jumping all over the place. Here's another really early drawing. I think this might be fifth or sixth grade. The notebooks weren't always labeled clearly what grade it was. Maybe Bart. I'm not sure. Harris? Yeah, before. This could be Bart. Okay, so um, this one, I'm pretty sure I remember this to a degree. Sorry, it's so blown out. But the muscle dude, I didn't draw. That was the dude who broke my fish tank and who also um, I, I saw Final Fantasy for the first time at his place. And I'm pretty sure then I drew all this stuff to try to, like, like the guns and stuff. <laughs> I was playing a lot of video games with guns in them at the time, chat. And I'm pretty sure this is sixth grade as well, or fifth. So I may not know for sure, but you'll, you'll see a, a trend. If I draw a lot of guns, it's like I'm younger. And then when I get older, like uh, this is, uh, I think, college, because there's Stewie Griffin again. And then there's um, equipment from Zelda, some Pac-Man, some music notes. Once in a while, I tried to put effort into something. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. There's a, I, I notice here a little turnip. Now, I didn't look at all of these very thoroughly, so I'm still like taking in some of the details here. But uh, I noticed there's a weird bird person thing up here. I thought it was a dumpy, but I think that's just a wing, like a butterfly wing. It's weird. Does that say? Does that say? <laughs> Is that what that says? No, that doesn't say that, chat. No way. That's just a bunch of random squiggles. <laughs> no way it says that. <laughs> oh, fuck. See what I mean? I told you I haven't seen the, the, the horror. I haven't peeped all of the horror. Okay, so then this, I believe, is high school. And I don't know who this guy is. I really don't. You would think with a, like a very specific thing that I'm drawing, it seems to be one particular person that I keep attempting to draw and caricature, but I don't know who it is. I don't remember. Maybe it's someone I went to school with. Could be an original character. 
could be the liminal man. AVGN. I think this was before AVGN. Remember, I graduated in 2003. So that's another weird one. Here's not one of my drawings, but I saw this. This is in my first grade notebook. And this kind of just creeped me out when I found this. It's like really weird stuff from like some activity book or something. I, I don't know why they're pasted in the notebook. But I, you know, I think we had to do some kind of thing where we had to cut them out and put them in the notebook. But um, the, I don't know, it's creepy. The face is creepy more than anything. Why is she eating like that in the bottom left? I don't know. Weird. Here's another goblet. I think that's supposed to be Lenin. I don't I maybe. And I think a strange bird abstraction. This isn't a goblet. This is like just an eye goblet, maybe. Like the eye of Sauron or something. Um, I noticed birds popped up a lot. So even before I thought I was a fan of birds, I would just kind of draw them a lot randomly. Maybe a flower of some kind. Yeah. Um Oh, look, it's my Italian notebook. I, I remember almost no Italian. But yeah, I think there's a little baby fella and just a strange dude and some other random shit. But uh, my uncle something, my Mio Zio. This isn't even really worth showing, but here's another uh, amalgamation of uh, side doodles couple I don't know just that's kind of the way I drew and as a result I never really learned how to do very much I mean I guess I could make what appeared to be a Harrison Ford type face <laughs> that's like as good as I could do in terms of a face it's a mouth um this is grade school for sure this is grade school I don't know what's going on here, but I drew a lot of tanks and stuff in grade school. This is either high school or college, and I think it's college because I had, you know, those things like you can, like little red tabs that you can uh, annotate books with. I used it as a dude's tongue. So that's, wow. And a banana, why not? Bacon. Why? Don't know. Bacon. Um, lightsabers. High school, I think. Just a variety of lightsabers. I don't know. A weirdly detailed foot. Like a shoe, rather. I don't know. Just a shoe. I think maybe it started looking like a boot, and I we just I just went with it. Watermelon gun. I think this is like fourth or fifth grade, if I'm not mistaken. And the, the drawing style Gallagher would like this. Remember him? Okay, this, <laughs> I debated showing this one, but I'm going to show it. So, uh, close reading essay due next week. FF7 boss battle, dime balls. Why? Why though? Why dime balls? Along the same lines, um, I blurred this because I don't know. <laughs> Listen, Twitch, Twitch has had some issues lately with me uh, because of the slime girl incident. I know this is different. However, I still blurred this because it's silly. You get the idea, right, chat? <laughs> you get the idea, right? <laughs> I mentioned there were way less penises than I expected. There were seriously only a couple, but however, I found three mentions. It just froze. Hang on. 
of Big Helmet. I don't know what this is. I don't know why I was writing Big Helmet. But on several occasions, I just noticed the words Big Helmet in my notebook. So, if anyone knows, email me at this web zone. Okay, here's another very, very early drawing. Uh, I think this is like third or fourth grade. Ah, uh, I should have used my jetpack. And then at the bottom I wrote, he is trying to fly, just in case it wasn't clear what was happening here. And then it says birds. I don't know why it says birds. There are no birds in this drawing. I just wrote birds. He is trying to fly. <laughs> Here's more weird abstract shit, including, I don't know, some some like flesh-like plant eyeball creature on the left, crying faces, a dude with lots of scorny skin. Yeah. It's borderline experimental. I chat, I, I don't know what's going on here, but this is another very early grade school one, and it says Sraw rats. And it's just a rat shooting lasers from its nose or eyes. Sraw rats? What is a sraw rat? What does sraw mean? Okay, here's something weird. Um, I, this, okay. I've showed this. There's a video of me showing an RPG I was making called Chrono Continuum. I'm not kidding, by the way. And I used RPG Maker 95, and I was making my own little Chrono Trigger sequel using the default assets of uh, RPG Maker. And it is on my Full Sauce channel, like me playing through it. And I found what took me a minute here, but I found something in a notebook from like 90... I'm going to say 8 or 9. My main character's name was Turbo because my cousin named Secret of Mana Randy character as Turbo because his um, he knew a, a dude's father was in Vietnam. He was a mechanic. He was fast. His nickname was Turbo. So he liked the name. So we would name that character Turbo. So that was my main character's name, Turbo. Turbo goes to Zeal to try to stop Zeal. He is the one who causes time loop. Single dimension was used by Zeal to do so. Then, they then try to get back the two dimensions. Chat, I don't know what the fuck this means. No idea. But I think I had, um... I think I had some idea of where the story was going to go. At one point, I had a giant overview in my head. But I'm, you know, for any maps I've made in video games, any attempts at making video game stuff, it was always too daunting for me. It was never going to be a career path. It was something that I was interested in. I always liked making levels, but it's just so much work. And, um, you know, maybe with a team, but yeah. So a chat member figured out Sraw Rats is Star Wars backwards. That's why the rat is shooting the laser. That's pretty clever for me being like 10. Huh. Like, I couldn't even decipher that now. Thanks, chat member. I feel good about myself. Um, I don't know, chat, I don't know what this is. I, I just don't know what this is. I, I clearly have listed some swords and some combos and... I don't know, maybe a, a, like a stat sheet for something? Uh, was it a fighting game, maybe? It's obviously weapon stats, but the thing is, if it was for my RPG, why would it have combos? I don't know. Yeah, I was kind of a fucking turbo nerd. FF6 Sabin. Yeah, maybe. Good point, good point. Uh, again, we're in no particular order here. At all. Do you know how wild it is to see this? 
like it's just nuts to, that this exists still. But here's some robots. This is grade school, and I know it's grade school because I mentioned this. I used to draw Mega Man esque plasma. Do you know in Mega Man X when he shoots, there's like little like coils around the the, the shot after, when you charge. I would draw that and just call it plasma and draw it on like everything. So there you go. Um, here's some some dude. Iroquois tribe, Iroquois Pliskin. Some dude. I think that's high school. Um, more Mario stuff and <laughs> a very interesting looking face. Your sword combo thing might be from Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Oh! Oh, yeah. That makes a lot more sense, yeah. There were some Castlevania things as well. Here... Re <laughs> I rediscovered their past. Okay, I think what is going on here is um, some sort of like like meat, like a deli meat, maybe like a salami, and then just a sandwich. Yeah. I don't know. Just whatever I could find, I took pictures of so I could show the, the class, aka the chat. see what other things do we have here there's still some more including i'm gonna show you at the end probably the most insane thing that i found but i cannot confirm or deny i'll tell you about it in a bit but here's mechanical chicken man now obviously that's not a butt plug because i didn't know what that was that's that is chat that's got to be a spade from you know the cards remember the game cards pretty sure it's a spade that's my guess. Um, I also, yeah, I found this too. I guess that's another. Oh, yeah, of course. I was going to have Chrono and Magus be party members. So this is the the, the elements I was going to have in my RPG. Oh, my God. Um, let's just keep going. I think I showed you. Here's uh, some things. I attempted to draw a pillar, it looks like. I think Cotton Eye Joe is in this drawing. There's a dinosaur. I don't know. Another mystery human. I have no idea who this is. No recollection of such. <laughs> Maybe a teacher of mine, possibly. I have no idea. Here's a strange ant creature. United Church of something. King William I. Um, I drew the game of billiards, of course. We all must draw the game of billiards at some point in our lives. Um, way more doodles on the side of the notebooks. I have, I like, too many of these. Of just, like... And I just took pictures of... I didn't even take pictures of all of them because not all of them were worth taking pictures of. Including some of these. Honestly, I'm not even really sure why I'm showing you this, but I figured someone out there might be interested in some way. Maybe I'm, overestim uh, <laughs> maybe I'm overestimating people's interest in this sort of thing. I do like the the scare like the snowman dude in the top there. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. You like the snowman? He's pretty cool, right? <laughs> no. No. No, I didn't notice anything weird about that snowman. <laughs> no. No, that was unrelated chat. That's like two plants in a vase. That was two plants in a vase and you can't tell me otherwise. All right. Let's keep moving. Um, 
well, let's see. Was there anything else? Was there any other major? I think I, I showed most of the major drawings. Let me just double check. You, you got to see Homer. You got to see the Half-Life map. Um, I showed this on stream the other day, but I found this very cursed item, which I'll explain one more time here, which is that uh, someone I worked with, someone that used to do a show at my public access station, said he knew Tommy Tellerico. He, he wanted to know if I wanted an autograph of his, and I said, no, thank you. And then a week later, he came back from some kind of conference with an autograph, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And uh, I, I didn't really like the guy because he would shit on a lot of games I loved on his TV show. Um, and now it's just this. Now I have this. But, you know, his mom is very proud. But it is a thing that exists and uh, that I have. Okay. I think we're going to get to the last image in just a second. I'm not sure if I have very much else of note. Oh, I do have this. Which will lead into the last one, I think, a little too well, unfortunately. So, no, it's not what you think. So this is my notebook from grade school, right? And I drew tanks and buildings all the time. There's even a UFO here, as you can see. So what is stranger is this mystery drawing. And I don't know if I can confirm this one. Okay. Listen, this was in a marble notebook. W what do you see on the left there? So there's cloud. There's swords. Now remember, I told you, you know, like I drew swords and people getting stabbed with swords because I was playing a lot of video games with swords in them. And that was grade school for me. What is what does it look like to you, Chad? This is how it starts and this is how it ends. What what is that? Okay. Here's what I do know. I know that this was in a marble notebook. I know I didn't use marble notebooks in high school. I know that 9-11 happened while I was a junior in high school. Okay. I ripped this out of the notebook, the marble book. So in order for me to confirm, there was no, there was no date on it anyway. However, I could probably find generally when this was from. Um, but the fucking crazy thing is though, chat, is I'm pretty sure, again, marble notebooks I did not use in high school. And this was from one that I used in like grammar school. Now, it could be just some random fucking co coincidence. I don't know, but I showed Mike this at the studio today and he was like, what the fuck? So. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to assume that this is not what that what it looks like at all. But uh, Mike made so, had such a reaction to it. I was almost like, do I even want to show people this? But yeah, it's something I found in a notebook. Um, I know that there was a basement bombing in, in 1993. And no, that's not how I expected this drawing segment to end. <laughs> I did not expect that. Actually, the good thing is it won't end like that because there is a drawing that you haven't seen. Listen, you can psychoanalyze me all you want, but I was a I was a dude in grade school with a bunch of other edgy dudes who would also draw scenes of violence <laughs> and played a lot of video games and watched a lot of Terminator 2. So, feel free to judge all you'd like, but the fact of the matter is I still play video games and I'm glad that my parents gave me video games when I was younger An analog synth would have been nice too, but I'm happy with the games. Hang on. Let me, let me fix this. All right. Okay. Now we're good. I just like that. Maybe that was my like tag name. Maybe that was like how I would tag all my art. Like I just put 
big helmet. That way, everybody would know it was me. Including Wednesday Dante. So that's pretty much it. There's like, you know, potentially some more that I could uh, show for a part two. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, let me let me think about that. Let me see if I can find anything else. Let me see if there's anything worth showing. And uh, I hope you enjoyed whatever the fuck this was. I had this idea based on that one Final Fantasy MS Paint thing. And I hope someone got some enjoyment out of it. I mean, it's a little embarrassing, but overall, it's just art I made when I was a kid. I figured it would be kind of fun. I'm sure we all had weird doodles in some way. Um, maybe not all of us predicted 9-11, but, <laughs> you know, I, who knows? I don't, I don't know. Listen, chat, I'll try to find the notebook that I tore that out of, but I don't remember it having the grade number on it. So, just saying. Weird. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching this. Uh, and if you do make art for it, you could submit it. Like, you can put it on the Reddit, the tw uh, tweet it at me, whatever. And um, I don't know why you would. Maybe you want to make art of the Goblin Man, the, the little rat man. You can do that. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, you can even put it on the Buru, which I, I check once in a while just for my own enjoyment. Feel free. And um, I'll take a look at it. Anyway, that's it. Goodbye. All right, now we can take a break. I'm still here. We're going to play RimWorld in just a couple minutes. So uh, let's do it. All right, chat. Give me like five minutes, not even. And I will return and we will continue RimWorld.